and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about juiced bikes and the fact that they are discontinuing two of their models so they're discontinuing or closing them out let's uh, they have a close out sale going on right now for two bikes so it's the scorpion hyper scorpion and the hyper scrambler uh hyper scrambler 2 so apparently the bikes are going to be no more but they are going to be renamed and relaunched uh, before the end of 2023 so I'm not sure if they're going to be tinkering with the bike a little bit or I'm sure they'll do a little something different uh, besides having a new name so we'll have to keep an eye on that that'll be interesting to see where that goes and so they have a sale going on right now for uh, any of the uh, Scorpion or Scrambler 2 bikes So I'm going to leave a link in the description and you'll be able to go there and check out the exact uh, which ones are on sale in this closeout uh, sale and which one and how much they are each. I got to uh, make mention to the weather today here. It's just a beautiful sunny day. We've got a temperature of 62 degrees right now as I am out here at about uh, 2 30 in the afternoon an absolute pleasurable day to ride a bike this is uh, really nice weather I think for me the absolute perfect uh, temperature would be about 70 degrees with sunshine that would be a perfect temperature for riding not too cold, not too warm. So anyway, yeah, that uh, juiced bikes, we'll see where this goes. I'm curious to see what they do, if they do uh, a little uh, tinkering with their bikes there, uh, besides renaming them when they do the relaunch. Uh, I've not ridden uh, one of those, uh, but they sure do look like a pretty cool looking bike. They look to me basically, uh, with uh, the looks of them, just like a what you would expect a moped to look like. mentioned to look out for uh, some uh, sales going on right now because we're getting into spring here it's now basically spring as of the 21st of March so uh, keep an eye out for uh, some deals coming on bikes this is another time of year when you'll start seeing some deals because everybody's getting ramped up ready to do some riding right so it's a good time to uh, keep an eye out for that uh, hopefully there's some good deals come along and the other thing is watch out for some new models coming out there I see uh, Himaway has announced three new uh, models coming out and I may do a uh, future video on that talk more about it I didn't uh, 
check it out too far other than looking at the uh, the three new models that they have they actually did a recent uh, launch video I guess they made the announcement on Apple and uh, I'm an Android guy So that'll be uh, something to uh, check out too, is uh, Himaway and see what they've got coming with new models. And I'm sure some other, uh, some other companies will be coming out with new, new models too. It's pretty exciting when you get to see some new models coming out, you know, give us a little, a uh, little more variety. There's so many darn bikes out there now, like it's hard to to keep up with them all, but I like it. I like the fact that we have competition, you know, and we can compare the bikes and everybody has a favorite they kind of lock on to, right? Uh, favorite company that kind of like, you, you maybe just are comfortable with their bikes or their style of bikes, you know? And uh, had a little kid across the street yelling at me. I think he wanted me to do a wheelie. I want to yell back, I'm too old to do wheelies. I'm not a, a wheelie rider, I'm more of a Keep my wheels on the pavement rider. Not only are there uh, companies uh, come out with new models, but there's there's always new companies too trying to get their foot in the door, you know. And and uh, it's hard for a new company though to get started, you know to get their uh, feet planted um, in the industry because others have had a head start. You know, the one that comes to mind that's been out there as long as, at least when I, since I've been riding, it's the name that always comes up a lot is uh, Brad, or Brad Power Bikes, right? So, but uh, there's always room for new, uh, new companies you know sometimes new companies get a bad rap just for the fact that they're new but uh, everybody deserves a chance you know like let's see what you got and take it for a ride just because you know they may be uh, an unknown name to you or I and the bike might be cheaper in price well the cheaper in price, the, the name of course, until it gets established, it's hard to get started, right? But as far as the price goes, well, they're probably uh, a little cheaper trying to compete, you know, uh, one way to compete with the, uh, the big dogs, if you will, would be to have a decent price, you know, like to be able to uh, get someone's attention, you know, hey, check this bike out, we're $500 less than that bike, and we have the same basically the same specs on our bike you know they may have a little different look to it the the frame might be just a little different you know but with a lot of these bikes they basically have the same uh, the same components uh, same size of everything but not necessarily uh, the same quality though right so I mean I'd rather have a, a pretty good quality you know, you don't want something that's going to break down in a week, or you want something that's reliable, I think. And then, reliability, you got to have specs that meet your, you know, what you're looking for, and then you go from there, right?
Might take me a few minutes to get across here. Lots of traffic this time of day. School lets out. And off we go. He wants me to rev it. The kid, I don't know if you heard that young kid, probably seven years old, he says, rev it, rev it. And I don't think he knows that this is a electric bike that isn't going to make sound if I rev it. Kind of funny. Rev it, rev it. Maybe he thinks I have the rev one, but even that doesn't rev. So if you're, if you're uh, as I almost lose my voice there, if you're uh, looking to uh, purchase an e-bike, oh, like I say, and, you, and you're you know um, ready to buy one, keep your eye open because this is one of those times of year now, as we're into spring, you're going to see more and more uh, deals. And maybe one of those bikes you want is to get a juiced uh, Scorpion or a uh, Hyper Scorpion or a Hyper Scrambler 2 or uh, if you get one of those, I guess now that will become quickly a collector's item, so. As I run over some pine cones in the bike lane have I ever mentioned that I hate debris in the bike lane? I despise it, don't like it. As I dodge some more pine cones. I've yet to put a mirror on the bike so I can't see behind me, I gotta <clears throat> quickly take a peek over my shoulder as we are in a busy period right now I want to make my left turn here here we go So if you've got a comment on this or any other video, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to uh, read and re respond. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just go ahead and hit that notification bell and you'll be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel. I've been pretty consistent here at uh, being able to put one up every day. And you never know, uh, I could uh, even surprise and put one up uh, twice in a day. Uh, if that happens, it's usually going to be the one I normally put up. Uh, if you're not familiar with when I post, it's usually 9 a.m. local time here in the West. 
which is Pacific time. And that would be 12 noon Eastern time if you're on the east side of the country. And depending on whichever other country you're in, it's going to be different than that. But uh, I normally, as I say, put it up at nine in the morning uh, local time here in Oregon. And if I do a, a second video in a day, if there is two videos to go up in a day or once in a while, I will drop one, uh, a premiere. And that will usually go about five o'clock local time here in the afternoon, which would be eight o'clock Eastern time. Once in a while, I do a, a premiere if I'm doing something a bit different or maybe if I had another bike that I was reviewing or something like that. Um, and you could let me know in the comments if you uh, like watching the uh, premiere videos or does it make any difference or do you just like to watch it whenever on your own leisure time because uh, one thing about premiering is we get to kind of talk as we watch the video which is kind of cool you know bring some of the the folks um together that are uh, connected with the channel and subscribe usually subscribe to the channel you don't necessarily have to be subscribed to watch it of course all right well that's going to do it for this video here on the channel like i say if you want to leave a comment in the comments below uh go ahead and hey if you would like to purchase this bike i do have a link in the descriptions for the lyric graffiti and I have a code, discount code, Oregon eBiker Mark, all one word. If you use that code, you'll save $150 on the bike. That's Oregon eBiker Mark, all one word. Saves you $150 on the bike. And I will leave a link for juiced bikes so you can catch up on those sales, closeout sales that are going on right now. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, take care.